Today we're gonna to be putting on the Diode Dynamics three inch LED pod lights or ditch lights, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, they're gonna go right up here. So they're gonna bolt up right here. They're actually gonna bolt to the underside of the hood with a custom bracket from Diode Dynamics. Man, just take a second to look at the shine that's still on this truck after we did that ceramic coating from Avalon King. I'll put a quick link to that video at the top of the screen here. All right, let's get back to talking about these lights again. These lights give a real off-road aggressive look to the truck. Again, I really like the real sleek way that the bracket bolts to the bottom of the hood. These trucks have really awesome lines and I really just didn't want to take away from that. I still just can't get over how good this truck still looks and how clean that paint is after we've been driving it in the snow. We ceramic coated it about a month and a half ago and haven't done anything but hit it with a pressure washer once. Back to the lights. Here are the three inch LED pods from Diode Dynamics. They're assembled in the US and they have an unheard of eight year warranty. I did a little looking around and looked at off-road lights and I couldn't find anything that was direct bolt on for your specific vehicle. Then I found these bad boys for the second gen Colorado. You can get the lights with a clear lens or an amber lens like these. Not only do amber lenses look cool, but we also chose them because amber light has a longer wavelength and it can penetrate more through airborne particles like dust and fog. When using white light, more light will bounce back into your eyes from those particles. Hey, I don't make the rules, it's science. These lights cool by the pin fins on the back here. They're weatherproof and operate in temperatures down to negative 40. Up here in Alaska, we'll put that to the test. The top two lights are a focused driving beam. The bottom two lights are more of a spread out flood pattern. These lights are fully customizable. If you decide later to change the color, you can just order the amber or the white lens from Diode Dynamics. All right, here's the bracket that mounts to the light. They sit just like this and the bracket angles forward, just as you see here. Here's the extra set of waterproof plugs. You can use these if you uh, wanna use it on a different application. Here's an extra switch they give you to go with the kit. No, we're not gonna be using this. We'll be using this full heavy duty wiring harness that they include. It's got everything included in the wiring harness that you'll need to wire it up, just like in the instructions. We're gonna go a little different route when we wire this up though. Next, we have the heavy duty brackets that bolt just under the hood. All right, first we're gonna mount these little brackets to the lights. First, take these nylon nuts and drop them right in this slot with the nylon facing inside. Now you do the same thing with the nut on the other side. All right, for the brackets that mount on the hood, you're actually gonna use and retain the same nuts that mount the hood to the hood hinge. These nuts right here. Next, let's talk about wiring. We have the Dusk Edition truck that came with the off-road lights on the sports bar. Thanks to the channel Horsepower Obsessed, they already showed us which wire to tap into. This is the relay for the sports bar lights, and we'll be tapping into the yellow wire here. Thanks again for doing the legwork and looking through the wiring diagram so I don't have to. <laughs> I just don't want any additional random light switches up in the cabin. All right, here are the brackets here, and this is right where they go on and mount. I really like this setup, and when I found these lights, I noticed that they, they don't stick way up over the hood like some other kits do. They're just enough to give a nice rugged off-road look. So right here, we're gonna loosen the hood hinge just enough to slide the bracket in. Now right here, we're gonna use the paint marks as a reference to see where the hood originally was. Then line it up, tighten it down. Now make sure you German torque it good and tight. Then move on to the next side. Now you're gonna close the hood and check for good alignment. 
Just make sure the gap is close to the same size on both sides of the hood running down the fender. That looks pretty good to me. It's even on both sides and the front of the hood doesn't get any closer than the back of the hood. All right, let's move on to the wiring. I think the longest part is just gonna be routing the wiring properly so it doesn't touch anything that's too hot and it's not gonna burn it or get pinched by the hood. The heavy duty wiring harness that comes with a kit is plenty long for the job. It's got everything you need included and it's a good quality wire. All right, the wiring is complete. We spliced our blue wire into the yellow wire right here on the relay for the off-road lights. As you see, we did not heat shrink the wiring yet. We're just test fitting. We ran the driver's side wire right here under this rubber bushing. Diode Dynamics makes these uh, little zip tie holes right in the bracket to slip the uh, included zip ties in there so that you can hold the wiring harness to the bracket. Now we ran the passenger side back behind near the firewall. I don't know if you could see that very well. Make sure you watch to the end so you can see just how much light these things put out. And it comes over to this side and we actually zip tied it down to a bracket on the back of the engine. Let me see if we can see this here. Right back here. And then it comes up and goes under this same bushing. And right here to the light. All right, now, right here, here's the main power, but this is where we actually hooked up. And then right here is where we hooked the negative terminal up. Guys, this is a super easy, really straightforward installation. Don't be worried about doing this yourself. Now, these are ditch lights, so I want to start with aiming them just a little bit out. We'll see how that looks, and then we'll make some adjustments from there. Now these are not stock bulbs. These are LED SV4 bulbs. Wow. This is with the ditch lights. What a huge difference. I was not expecting this much light to come out of these things. Check that out. It really gives a lot of light off to the sides. Let's take a look at the front of the vehicle, see if we can kind of get an idea. That's just with the headlights. And that's with all the off-road lights. Camera's not doing the best in this dark. But you get the idea, you can see how bright these things are. Wow. Man, these things are bright. Let me see if we can get in the garage with a little more lighting here. Really good option for the ZR2 because we don't have any fog lights on these things. I really like the way these look. They really go good with these sport bar lights up here. They are really nice looking lights. All right, let's talk a couple quick things about the company Diode Dynamics. Their products are designed and manufactured in the US. The company's based in St. Louis, Missouri. 
They say their first concern is quality above price. That means they know that you can get a cheaper bulb from, say, China, but they can't really beat that, so they're going to focus on quality instead. My take on this is if you're replacing reverse lights or you're going to put a high beam bulb in your current housing, then you can go with a cheaper bulb. But if you're going to go with something like this that's going to be out in the weather, in its own housing, then go ahead and get a high quality product that's over engineered just like these. We actually picked these up off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Hey again, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out.